going back to even when I first started to look at Meadville as, as, as a potential for a job, um, I was trained in kind of big time academics. So uh, I did my training in Cleveland and St. Louis, some of the biggest academic hospitals in the country. And I, I kind of told myself wherever I work, I want to have access to the best, the, the, the latest technology. Uh, and, and I grew up in Western Pennsylvania. I wanted to be back in Western Pennsylvania. But it, I also didn't want to be at a hospital that was kind of stuck behind the times. Um, and Meadville kind of had this rich tradition in orthopedics that they were always a leader. And I say this all the time, Meadville is a small town, it's a small community hospital, but I am 100% confident that the, the resources available, especially orthopedic wise, they match any major academic hospital in the country. And, and when I kind of presented the data that, hey, robotics is the future of joint replacement and we need to be there and take that next step, I had the full support of the hospital, so it was nice. Jay, 50 plus years of this department that's been doing outstanding work, uh, you have to smile knowing you're making oh, a difference. Yeah, so I, I've been in charge of surgery for 18 years and across every specialty we have, whether it's urology, orthopedics, OBGYN, general surgery, uh, the equipment that we have at Meville Medical Center is the top grade, the best that you can get. And uh, like Doctor said, you know, any hospital that you go to, um, sometimes you're three tiers down to receive the equipment and be eligible for it. Um, I present this to administration. Administration met with Dr. Gebhardt um, and they were all in. So uh, it's it's not a matter of, yeah, we're just going to do this because we're a small, you know, surgery center or something like that. We have the equipment that we need. Um, like I said, I scrubbed with previous total joint surgeons, with uh, to, you know previous back surgeons, and I still get to do that. And the equipment we have today is state of the art, and you know, local facilities that do not, some of them do not even have that.